The state government has urged flu victims to avoid emergency hospital departments where possible to take the strain off the buckling health system. But insiders say the problem won't change with the seasons and warn things will only get worse when the new Royal Adelaide Hospital opens. A day after the ramping rampage that saw patients waiting in ambulances at three major metro hospitals, the state's healthcare system is critical but stable. We see our hospitals operating at 100% or above most of the year, so it only takes a very small increase in sickness in the community to send our entire system uh, into major crises. That increase came in the form of a <laughs> flu spike that has emergency departments in overload. I would encourage people, if they think that they need to see a doctor, go to a GP, don't go to the emergency services. General practitioners say a new model of cooperation could ease the pain. We believe that we can actually take some of the strain off uh, the government. When they get an outbreak like this, influenza is something that can be managed in the community with support. They say they proposed the model to SA Health two years ago but received short shrift. So it's time to engage, otherwise we're going to have this repeated again and again and again. But emergency doctors say thanks, but no thanks. The people in hospitals are very sick. They're not people that can be managed uh, in the main by GPs or, or at all by GPs. The ambulance union has suggested ramping ramps up on Mondays because a shortage of weekend consultants holds up discharges. But medical officers dispute that. I can always get uh, the necessary medical staff. What I can't get is the necessary bed. And that, they argue, is the chronic problem. Fundamentally, we need more beds in our hospitals. There's no getting around that fact. With the system operating constantly at capacity, doctors say ramping episodes will only increase. And that will get worse with the new Royal Adelaide Hospital that's been built. And live now to Tom Richardson. Tom, why the concern over the new Royal Adelaide? Well, Dr Pope says the existing site behind me has had options to increase capacity when things do get critical, but the new site will have no such option, particularly with its model of one bed per room. Now, he says the only answer is to increase capacity, but that, of course, means spending more money. Now, the GP network says its proposal will save money, but right now it seems everyone has their own solution and no one has an answer for patients waiting longer and longer in our emergency departments. Back to you. Thank you, Tom.